So most of you know that we did a rockathon already like a couple weeks ago and that rockathon was to raise money for different people in the village that needed some assistance or just a little bit of help. We've all been in that situation. That's Orion talking to us. Anyway, um, we had so many people come out to help out that we actually had to do a second one because so many people had put their money out to have their song reviewed, but the internet kept cutting out and we had different situations, but we had already done 15 hours. So we came back for a second rockathon and this is um, one of the videos from that. Again, you will notice us getting a little bit tired, so have a little patience with us, but I think we did pretty good this time. So thanks for everybody for coming out to help out. And um, we were actually able to help somebody get in a situation where they were able to save their house. They didn't lose their house and um, a couple other people that, that those stories are pretty cool. So um, yeah, shout out to you. All right, guys, this is Kiss. Shout out to the big homie, Ben Moen, wherever the big homie is. He's on uh, the screen. Hopefully he doesn't, really? Where, where is he? What do you mean? I thought he's been talking on here. Oh, there right it there. is, Psycho Circus. Yeah, he's was, super excited about his song. It's truly there. terrible. Okay. Uh, shout out to the big homie Ben Moen. Uh, yeah, shout out to me, he said. <laughs> oh, is that what he said? Shout out to me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, go! Let it stand for you now! This song! We're gonna dedicate this song to all the G I R L S! All the girls here today. All right. All the girls and women here tonight. Girls! Let me hear you! I know. I know there's... I can see more people than that. Girls, let me hear you! <laughs> Dedicate this song to all the girls, all the women out there, and all the guys, especially the guys in New York who know how to make you feel good. They press all those buttons. <laughs> Song's called Shut Up!
I'm not sure if I should like this song or be offended by it. I believe it's talking about the fickle nature of a woman. <laughs> mm. Um. Well, these guys are actually good musicians. I, I've never taken Kiss very seriously, but at the same time, I've never heard any of their music. Oh, well. I just saw them. I'm like, man, get out of here. Oh, really? But that dude can actually play. Oh, yeah, he can. Like, <laughs> that song looks simple, and it kind of is, but to play it live and all that, and, mm -hmm. and, and he's also a very charismatic lead guy. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I feel like Kiss is more designed to be a live band than a studio band anyway, just because of the way they look. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Slipknot. Now, when I first saw Slipknot, they sounded like absolute garbage mm -hmm. because they didn't they didn't have enough money for any really good tech to make themselves sound better. And we saw them in an open air festival and all the rest of it. It was three o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. But of course, later on, as they got more popular, they were able to invest more in their live show. But Kiss seems to just be like a more of a live, like you would go to a Kiss show and have a ton of fun. I feel like. I'm, and I'm saying like the proverbial you. Like, I feel like everybody would go to that show and have a lot of fun. And it seems like they were committed to making sure everybody had fun. And, you know, that's how you got to look at them. Like, that's that's what they're looking at. So it, it's more like, you know, you're going there for the experience and the moment and mm -hmm. all that. And I feel like it's a once in a lifetime experience. Mm -hmm. This is one of those bands that I wish I could see actually live, actually. Uh, Maiden Kiss. Um, that was my father's favorite one. That's a band I would definitely like to see live. Um, so, anyway, what did you um, give? Um, I I thought it was fun. I, I kind of liked the way that it went. I, I thought that the guitar work was crazy. There was some parts of it I was like, whoa, okay. I think I'm going to go with a 9.1. I think for what this band is right. and for what they're trying to do, I think there was probably, and I'm speaking completely out of ignorance here. This was written in 1974, well beyond our time. But, <laughs> but, but, I'm going to go out on a limb and say there's probably no other band in that time, in their, in their era that could do what they did at their level for as long as they did it. So because of that, I'm going to go, I got to give this one a 10, man. Whoa, I got to okay. give this one a 10 because of that element of it. Some of it, you got to, you got to, you got to put it in historical context. So that's where I'm at. I'm at a 10. I'm sorry. People are going to probably go crazy on it, but it's a 10 for me. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> 10 out of 10. This I, I, and I really hope, I really hope actually people... I would like like more of a catalog of, of their songs to kind mm. of catch their vibe to see if my theory is correct. Yeah. And um, you know me, I love the live show. So I'm hoping that KISS fans will enjoy um, the the live. Maybe we can get away with it, the live show. Because to me, that's the essence of metal, rock and roll, whatever. It's, it's mm -hmm. the live show. So that's where I'm at. Without Ace, there is no dime. Ace, I'm assuming, is one of the guitarists that, that influenced Dime. Bye, Jay. <laughs> oh, I don't really. Oh, I mean, how do I know? Um, okay.